Yo, what's up everyone? It's Deceppy Swag here with another gameplay video courtesy of Neo Geo Now. Big shout out to him. As always, his video will be linked in the description. Be sure to check him out, show him support to the OG. But today we have Vox Reaper, one of the newer characters to the Fiddle Fairy franchise. And I believe he's going up against Rock Howard. So we're going to see how this goes. But before we get into that, you already know what I got to do. Call to actions, you know how it goes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, but don't forget to tap the bell icon to be notified for future videos. Alright, let's get into it. <laughs> I like this color, hold on. I'm sorry, hold on. First off, color is sick. Let's get that out the way, okay? Gold with like the grayish kind of color. Clean. Also, his face paint. I did not realize that, obviously, when you change his colors, his face paint is going to change too. That's fire too. The chain is dope. Feel me? Chain is dope. Got the rings. I'm cool with that. Also, his jacket reminds me of Cyberpunk. Farewell. So this is the English one. Okay. Wait, did he, sp wait, did he speak English? Wait. Farewell. Oh, okay. So it's the Japanese dubbing, but it was him speaking English. That threw me off because I heard rock. I was like, wait a minute. You could mix and match. That would be cool if you could do that, mix and match the language. I'm sorry, real quick. That's a cool shot. Real quick, I want to point out his shoes. Vox's shoes are kind of... Vox's shoes kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. You see these shoes? It's kind of fire. So, with Vox, I'm really curious his role in the entire story. For those of you who don't know, Vox was hired by whom we don't know but he was hired to go after Kane and he obviously he wasn't able to kill him but uh what's his name uh Grant Grant they fought Grant won but he was like you know what I see something in you man Rock is getting messed up I have to re re uh, rewind this but he's like yo I see something in you took him under his wing taught him his ways Grant dies but before he died I guess he told him I need you to carry on and protect Kane and make sure his vision comes true. And he does just that. So Kane has Vox. Now what Kane's plot is, I have no clue. And I'm really curious about this. So I'm going to go back. You know, I was chatting. His supers are so cool. I don't know if I'm going to play this, like main him, but I definitely will try him. Yo, my man got the... Wait. Does my man got the... He got the, the kid in the background. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Got the okay striped shirt with the little dog tags, short shorts, but with the green socks hiked up. My man got this size shaved and he clean with it. He clean. Who is this? But he clean with it. Okay, I see you. I see you, Johnny. All right, Johnny. Let's start this match over though. You know, let's 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 lock in. Okay. His dash is really quick. And his move list is very short, so I can see people trying him out. I think people will really like uh, Vox, a lot of newer folks. Oh, well, that's competitive folks, too. Okay. Yeah, it's right, Pukin. Yo. Ball to wall? That's so cool. That's so cool. That was cool. The smoke. Mmm. Get off me. And he has a dive kick. I forgot he had that. I'm not gonna lie. So he can, he could uh, theoretically alter, well not theoretically, but he could alternate his angles from when he's jumping. So if someone tries to DP you, for example, or try to anti-air, he could just negate all that. Or not negate, but like try to get around it. So that's cool. Okay. Got the counter hit. Mmm. What we got? I missed the ESDP. Not ESDP, but the ES dive kick. Just defense. Just defense. Okay. Another one. You said stop all that. Get in the corner. No, another just defense. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. You might be. Okay, you ain't dead. You ain't dead. Okay, got the jabs. Replucan. Mm, where you going? He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. How much did that do? So, okay, so he went into an EX into an EX. Okay, so he did 
Brock's trying to jab him out. Jumps. It's anti-air. Then he dashes forward. Did he dash forward or was that a move? I think he manually dashed forward. Let me see. I think he manually dashed forward. Yeah, he manually dashed forward. Did whatever this EX move is. Canceled it into another EX move. And it killed him. Yo. I really enjoyed this uh, transition with the wolf. I also like the alternating tones. So you have the dark half and you have the lighter half. And the, if you notice, the wolf eyes change its colors. They red to blue. I wonder if that's supposed to represent Rock and Kane or whatever's going on there. That was really interesting. We're going to go back. We're going to run that back again. That was that's hmm. This character might be scary. I'm not gonna lie. He might be a problem. He might actually be a problem. I'm not gonna lie. Cause he carried Rock all the way from one part of the stage to the other. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That was the rev blow they caught him. And again, both of them have SPG in the beginning, so they both have access to their uh rev blows. So I think, yeah. So Rock activated Rev Blow. Oh, it's like a purple little light right there. So I guess that's like an indication of the armor. Boom, top attack. Hold that. Alright, knockdown. We're gonna run. And if you notice, when you get the knockdown, it's like really for most fighting games, but when you get the knockdown on an opponent and you run in a direction towards them, you're pushing them in that direction. So watch this, peep this. So you're pushing them closer and closer to the corner, which is smart. Because you want to cut off their um, space. So you try to do an air rev blow, which is like the... What is that name of Geese's move? But it's in 15 in most games. But he has like this air slash that crosses up. Rock never had that before until now, to my knowledge. So he tries to do it. Didn't get it. There's a bad look. There's a bad position. Boom. That looks like Standy. That might be his Standy or Heavy Kick. Mmm, he couldn't capitalize. Tried to see, and that's the difference between a regular counter and like a wild punish. So what he tried to do was, I like the shattering effect too. So he got the counter hit. And he thought, okay, I'm gonna be slick. Counter hit. Then I can dash forward. He don't have enough time. By the time he was in the animation of moving forward, Rock was already back to neutral. See, Rock already met him. He said, boom, I'm here. Didn't get it. Caught him. Hit him with a sweep. So again, that's the big difference between just a regular counter hit and a wild punish. He said, grab him, scoop, get over here. While punish, you got plenty of time. Check your taxes. Say hello to the neighbors. Dash up and do what you want to do. Hyper do. Okay, we got just defend. We got just defend. Wait a minute. The extra pookin. What we doing? Okay, we gonna we gonna jump just to let them know that we can do that. Okay. Slow it down a little more. So this is what I was talking about with the wall to wall. He tags rock with that. That was a wild punish, actually. Now that I, I didn't realize that. So because Rock was still recovering from a move, that uh, indicates wild punish or, or met the requirements for that. So boom, wild punish. Yeah, he could have done more. So that move was too slow. Maybe that move was too slow. Also, I just realized, you know, it's a fatal free hat. Cool. Bro, why did Rock lean back like that? Rock leaned all the way back. He said. Then he hit him with the. <laughs> okay. So then he's carrying him to the wall. EX. I think he EX into an EX. So we got the EX dash. Into another EX. Into like an anti-air. Into, into like a, another EX version of that. 
Did, was that his super? I believe that was his super he just used. Yes. Yes. So the stars uh, are your supers. Uh, let me check. Let me, you know, I want to give you all the correct terminology. So my mistake is your power gauge. So your power gauge, stars. I'm going to call them stars. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to just say your meter, your power gauge. Yeah. Or your stocks, you know, whatever works for you. But that is interesting. So I guess it would be you you do your EX into EX, yada yada, and you want to end it with a super, depending. Now, interesting enough, my can cancel out of hers or break. It's like when you hear someone say break, they essentially mean like cancel. So she could do her super, but cancel it. It was interesting. So I wonder if that's unique only to her or if other people, maybe the rest of the roster may be able to do it or it's just her, a unique thing to her. Maybe down the line other characters. But that is interesting to, to note. Yeah. Yeah, that. Man, what happened to all his health? The rounds just started. He's so, he's cool. He's a cool character. He's a cool character. And also keep in mind, these colors you see, remember, custom uh, color customization is back, back in effect. So if you don't like these colors, change them. Do whatever edits you want. So we're gonna look at this and slow, bro. These shots of him when he's like, bro, they. This is such a funny shot. So we're gonna put it on. We're gonna put it on that real quick. Yo, he was there in the instant. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Will you look at it like that? He like okay. Boom, counter hit, rock recoil, he dashes up. So he so he got there in time before Rock could throw the Rapukin. Because if you pay attention, Rock was gonna throw a fireball. He catches him with Standy, which by the way, that heavy kick reminds me of Dolores' heavy kick. I might have to play this character. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just don't like I don't like playing in front of people the entire time. I don't like being in someone's face. I like having a little bit of distance, but I might make an exception. I like that button. Boom. He already into the speed force. We're in, we're in the speed force. He's already taken off. Rock is just now trying to go into animation for the fireball. Didn't get it. Gets the counter. Launches him. I, I need to know. Maybe that particular move launches the opponents uh, on the counter hit. But uppercut into an EX version of the move. Couldn't get the follow-up EXDP. He does that. Boom. So that's okay. So that's all one motion. The like EX upper into the dive kick is all one move. But it didn't it didn't flow into each other. It didn't catch. Now we're in the corner. He catch him. Was he not blocking low? Yep, caught his toes. Firm. Back up. Mmm. He wrote he tech road okay we got just defense I want I wonder if rock could have got some from that uh, down heavy he probably could have he probably could have he, he probably could have okay we're blocking just defend get off me got to jump throws him another just defend throw him again so you can't just defend these throws he said oh, I can grab you too though hold on get in the corner yeah, yeah. Hold on. I like the flame effects also on the characters, uh, indicating that they have SPG activated. So in case you're ever wondering, like if you don't want to honestly look up at the health bars, you see that glowing effect on him. Now uh, he has his SPG, but Rock is well past his, and he just and he just catches him. So that didn't work. So that unfortunate, you know, EX into it into he rev rev art, you know, rev rev XL. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's unfortunate. You died. You died for that, buddy. I like the purple effect. Yeah, you definitely. I, I don't think you want. It's not a lot of characters. Just in general, you don't want to jump in on people in this game. But uh, Vox in particular seems like a character you don't want to jump in on. So now we're gonna go through 
see what Neo Geo has to say about it. Maybe there's some things he noticed that I missed. So we'll go here. Vox is the the prodigy of Grant. Yep. Like I was saying, okay. First, I want to talk Grant about was his essentially his teacher. Like, this. like he just mentioned. His standing D is crazy. Far reaching. It's just like Dolores. Look at the damage it does. Like almost 10% just, just standing D. Yep. And it's kind of like emphasizes how Fox is such a neutral heavy character. Yeah. And that's something that is very apparent when you start seeing his gameplay. Shoes uh, are crazy, by the way. Like again, shoes go crazy. All right, so you try with that. You start shoes with are this, uh, Easy, like bread and butter combo kind of thing. So stand in C, mm -hmm. going into the go dangai. Okay, that's name of the move. Circle forward and punch. Rock goes for the rev blow, and then not sure why he went with an air rev blow. That's a mistake. Going for the grab, put in a uh, box in the corner. He was able to just defend pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was that was gonna be nice. Okay, now we're talking. And just Whoa, looking look at what at he can that do. Juggling combo, not done. Beautiful. Oh my god, that is sick. Did not kill, but it was really flashy. Let's go ahead and see what happened there. So I think he started. He wanted to do the combo. I think Vox is also going to be a fan jump, favorite besides uh, Preacher. I think this is jump D, which is actually connects as a wild punish, but he did not hit the second button quick enough to mm. be able to hit here. So, so he Vox didn't push the button quick enough. He did not hit the second button quick. Okay, so he could have used that, I guess, to follow up the combo. I love these effects, by the way. Like, that effect looked nice. But he could have done that, so that would have worked. But he just didn't do it quick enough. Okay. Quick enough to be able to hit here. So, Rock was able to block, but that's not too, not a problem. He goes for a counter hit, standing C into his Kokuen Ryu, which is quarter circle back and punch. Okay. That throws the opponent this is the uh, he did the heavy version which is the one that sends the opponent flying he follows that with an ex or a rev go down guy which is quarter circle forward and the two punches in this case which hits four times one two three and four and again puts hmm. the opponent in another juggle state which again he follows with a dash goes into the dp which right. is the kyo chojin cancels that because it's breakable and again dashes okay so he broke e, that cancel goes into the dp which is the kyo chojin cancels that because it's breakable and again dashes and goes for an ex again kyo chojin breaks it again and then goes right. for the super so you can break the ex moves as well breaks it again and then goes for the super pretty sick oh my god that's the level one super by the way uh that's a pretty good damage it's not over yet but he ends it with a drop kick which is in this game called the mesh show he sets and it's done by just pressing down and kick when you are in the air or, or following akio chojin which is the dp so you can do the dive kick just by pressing down and kick is in this game called the mesh show he sets and it's done by just pressing down and kick when you are in the air or following akio chojin which is the dp hey i didn't know he could i didn't know that was the input for i wasn't under the input i thought it would have been like four circle back kick or something it's down it's just down and kick we go with round two let's see how it's gonna happen okay, interesting standing deep both players are okay all right let's see what time so both players have the <laughs> spgn in the beginning which is right something both of them have SPG. i usually don't do i prefer to be in the middle but that is okay ooh, ooh. so um there you go look at it goes with that sand and d mm -hmm. again round i think he did it round start there you go. Look at no no, no. Okay, it goes with that sand. okay so i wonder if round start you could just throw it out you could probably throw that out no you probably don't want to just throw it out but that would be something to test if like round start if you could hit someone with that whether or not they block but like if they block you should be safe or if they press a button you'll get this you will get the counter hit and in D, it looks just like dolores and then goes right away into the golden guy right heavy golden guy and then goes into the dp so he did the, the golden guy, golden guy. 
and then he did it again into the heavy, heavy one. Gudangai, so he did the heavy one to catch up, to catch the space. Because I think if he just normal dashed, he wouldn't be able to get there. Right away into the Godan guy. Right. Heavy Godan guy. Right. And then goes into the DP. Into the DP. Cancel that. Follow with the dash. EX. DP. And in right, this right, case, right. He, didn't, he doesn't break it, but tries to do the drop kick right after. But he did not time it correctly, so he misses. He um. misses. That could have been really crazy. Nice mix up. So maybe those are separate. Maybe the ex, ended. maybe the kick isn't what follows it. I think. So yeah, the ex DP. In the corner, trying to put some pressure and another grab. Why not? And it's grabby time. <laughs> okay. Nice. This is a this is a, a target a rush combo. Uh, is it now? Which is typical of Fatal Fury, especially the real bout series. Pretty good. I like it. Okay. I really like it. Staying, staying heavy. And pretty good damage for target combo. Blocking all the. Okay, nice. Whoa. DP, XDP, that's it. That that is it. That is it. So, pretty easy. Here we go. He uses the DP as an anti air. Right. The right? Chojin breaks that and follows right. with a dash into an EX, EX DP. Chojin cancels that into an EX Golden Guy, which actually does hit four times and okay that's gonna call it a day so the es gundung i'm gonna mess up these names es gundung zai like you mentioned has four hits so when it connects obviously it hit the four but it also covers distance so i peeped during the analysis he mentioned there were times when rock was in the air but like kind of a bit far from he would do the heavy version to close the gap so that is interesting that you can use moves like that to close the gap between yourself and the opponent if a dash uh, doesn't work especially depending on your character if their dash doesn't go that far or run of sorts so I don't even, does he run i just realized does he run i don't even think he runs i don't think vox runs so yeah so he can't i don't think he runs unless at some point during this he ran and i just didn't he runs right I don't think he runs. Yeah, I don't think Vox run. And then he just dashes. I think Vox dashes the entire time. Let me see. Let me see. Does he run at all? Like it just... Yeah, he doesn't. He dashes, right. Yeah, so that makes sense that you would use those special moves to close the gap between yourself and the opponent. Whether it's for a combo, Oki, you know, whatever the sorts. And for those, and then for those who don't know, Oki uh, essentially just means um, your it's essentially your advantage on the opponent when they're knocked down. Like you have the advantage. So if you like right there, like when he's knocked down and you dash up in front of him, the opponent is on the back end because you have the advantage. So you can do theoretically what you want. Hey, now. The opponent could just wake up DP, super, whatever, but theoretically, you have the advantage. But it's your Oki, you are the one that have the, like right here. I don't know why you jump, but like, you have the advantage. So, boom. I don't know why you jump, but like, he has Oki because he is the one that's in the neutral. He's upright, and Rock still has to get up and all that stuff. So, he is at the mercy of the other player but yeah that's interesting because if i remember marco also doesn't have a run he also dashes around so certain characters run certain character dashes so it's going to be interesting to see how that goes but yeah uh that's going to be it for me shout out to neo geo again his video will be linked in the description please show him some love shout out to him for uploading these 4k footage looks amazing shout out to snk for providing them to him and people in the community i uh, can't wait for this game but as always we reached that part of the video where i ask what are your thoughts do you like vox do you like rock what do you think of the matches are you looking forward to playing the game who do you want to play are you looking forward to the color editor because i know i am and that's about it for me on this end as always i'm giuseppe swag till next time peace
me.